Welcome to the CISSP, or Certified Information System Security Professional by Simply Learn. Course Introduction. I'm Slim Beeman, and I'm going to be your instructor for this course. I've been involved in cybersecurity for over 13 years at all levels, attaining my Certified Information System Security Professional, or CISSP, certification, all of the ASACA certifications, several of the CompTIA certifications, and I've also gotten my Project Management Professional, or PMP, certifications. I've instructed over a thousand students successfully with superb training organizations like Simply Learn and supporting student efforts to understand and pursue a career in cybersecurity. And then finally, this course is structured in eight different domains, not including domain 00, and it covers the entire spectrum of information system security, and it covers the whole thing, and it goes about a mile deep in all of them. The CISSP is what we call the big daddy. It is the gold standard. First objective is to merge your knowledge of cybersecurity and the IT network with the concepts and procedures of ISC Squared's CISSP program certification process. Second, I want to make sure that you're aware of ISC Squared's ethical requirements as a CISSP or a member of ISC Squared. Third, I want to enhance your knowledge to support the CISSP exam requirement that you're going to take and finally, I want to create a consistent platform for the use and sharing of cybersecurity and information system security knowledge. Let's talk a little bit about ISC Squared. ISC Squared is the International Information System Security Certification Consortium, or ISC Squared. It is a nonprofit organization that specializes in training and certifications for cybersecurity professionals. It was founded in 1989 to meet the needs for standardization and certification in the cybersecurity industry. Its vision is to inspire a safe and secure cyber world. Its mission is to support the ISC Squared's mission and members throughout their careers by providing them with industry information, vast networking and collaboration opportunities, and professional development tools. ISC Squared's responsibilities is to create an impact on careers and advance the industry by providing globally recognized certifications like the CISSP. Maintain the Common Book of Knowledge or Common Body of Knowledge or CBK in the field of information system security. And as a soon to be CISSP, it's going to be important for you to be thinking about getting copies of the CBK and every edition that comes out administer the certification exams, oversee the ongoing accreditation of qualified certification candidates. Now the CISSP, or Certified Information System Security Professional, is the most widely known certification offered by ISC Squared. The CISSP credential is an elite way to demonstrate your knowledge, advance your career, and become a member of a community of cybersecurity leaders. The CISSP exam tests the technical and managerial competence required from an experienced information security professional to effectively design, engineer, implement, and manage an organization's information security program within an ever-changing security landscape. Some of the CISSP features. The CISSP is the gold standard, as I mentioned. It is vendor neutral as far as its IT security certification. Its designation was accredited under the ANSI ISO IEC standard 17024-2003. The CISSP examination is based on the Common Body of Knowledge, or CBK, Hence why I said it's important that you understand the CBK and, and get your copy of the latest edition. The CISSP domains, there are eight of them. The first one is security and risk management. The second one is asset security. The third one is security engineering. 
In four, we're going to talk about communication and network security. In five, we're going to talk about identity and access management. In domain six, we're going to talk about security assessment and testing. Domain seven, security operations. And we'll finally wrap up with domain eight with software development security. Each one of these domains covers an extremely important area of cybersecurity as it's going to affect your IT network. The steps to certification. First, you must meet the CISSP eligibility. To qualify for this cybersecurity certification, you must have at least five years of cumulative paid full-time work experience in two or more of the eight domains of the ISC squared CISSP common body of knowledge that I just went over. You can satisfy one of those five years with a four-year college degree or an approved credential from ISC Squared's approved list. In case you don't have any experience at all in IT or information security, as is presented to you by these domains, and you pass the CISSP exam to earn an associate of ISC Squared designation. All you have to do then is earn the required work experience within six years of the exam notification that you have passed. To register for the examination, you need to create an account at Pearson View. You can go to http colon backslash backslash pearsonview.com backslash isc the number two backslash. You create a user account, select the nearest Pearson View Testing Center, and pay the examination fee. From there, you schedule the examination, pass the exam. So take the computerized adaptive testing exam. You pass the exam with a scale score of 700 points or greater, approximately 70%. Finally, once you've passed the exam and get notified, you now have to be endorsed by somebody who is a ISC squared CISSP member. Subscribe to the ISC Squared Code of Ethics. Have an endorsement, like I said, from a endorsement form must be completed and signed by an ISC Squared certified professional. ISC Squared can endorse you if you can't find anybody that is certified. You can get endorsed within nine months from the date of the examination. So it's not something you have to race to do. However, you don't get your CISSP certification until you get endorsed and submit your application. A percentage of the candidates who pass the CISSP examination and submit endorsements will be randomly subjected for audit and required to submit additional information as required for verification. Again, remember, this is random, so don't, if you get audited, don't feel like you've been singled out or that something was wrong. That's not necessarily the case. The exam itself, the delivery method, as we said, it is a computer adaptive testing. The question difficulty is matched to your capability. The mark for review, in other words, you cannot go back. You cannot flag a question. The question format, the multiple choice questions, and advanced innovative questions such as scenario-based, drag and drop, and hotspot questions will be on the exam. There is no negative scoring, so if you miss a question, it doesn't subtract from your current positive score on your exam. The exam duration is a minimum of 100 questions with a maximum of 150. It can take you up to three hours to take the exam. Key thing here, plan on 150 questions, plan on 180 minutes. So you have a little bit more than one minute per question. Of the questions you're going to get, of the 100 to 150, 25 questions will be for research purposes. You need to reach a passing score of 700 out of 1,000 possible points. 
The results are provided immediately upon finishing the exam, so you're going to know right there sitting at your chair. The exam fee is $699 plus all applicable taxes. From exam retake, a candidate can take the CISSP exam a maximum of three times in a 12-month period. You must wait 30 days to retake the exam if you failed it the first time. You must wait an additional 90 days if you have to take it beyond the second attempt. And then finally, you have to wait the full 180 days if you need to take it after the third attempt. The candidate must still pay the full fee for each additional exam attempt. Now, how do you maintain the CISSP certification? Because trust me, once you got it, you don't want to lose it. Recertification is required every three years. You have to pay an annual maintenance fee of $85, and I believe it just went up this year. You have to earn continuing professional education, or CPE, credits. You need to post a minimum of 40 CPEs every year and post a minimum of 120 CPEs over a course of three years. Bottom line, happy learning, and I wish you the very best luck in taking the CISSP exam, and I look forward to welcoming you as a fellow CISSP. Thank you.